Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University, and I'm going to show you how we can continue to do um, even greater analysis and make more complicated pivot tables while using Google Sheets. Now, obviously, if you have access to a higher level statistical program like SPSS, um, that's probably the best place for you to do your data analysis. But if you're a practitioner or you're just trying to um, run a couple of numbers very quickly for a report that you're laying out or um, managing for your upper level C-suite folks, then uh, you may just want to do it very quickly in Google Spreadsheet or Excel. So in my last video, I showed you how to come up with a score for each person's word of mouth um, index. So there were four questions that showed what the word of mouth um, was for each person. And then we put them where it was WOM1 plus WOM2 plus WOM3 plus WOM4 equals one big WOM score um, for each person. And we have our own little brand new analysis and new variables spreadsheet down here at the bottom. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to see, I mean, when I, when I look at this, I can easily do a um, overall index. So I'll do overall WOM score for everybody. And I can come in, I'm on a new sort of analysis uh, table here, and I can come in here and I can say average and my average is going to be in this column. I did not like it when I typed in average. Equal average. And so my average is going to be of this column. And I can see that for everybody, my overall average is 4.44. Now that's great for an overall, but we have different types of people. So maybe there was data collected in two different locations. Um, maybe we care about people who are in one category versus another category. So um, veterans versus non-veterans, or maybe we care about uh, freshmen versus sophomore, versus junior, versus senior, or male versus female. Um, this was a survey of people in a running group. So we have maybe people who go to the running group or people who don't go to the running group. Um, there's a lot of different demographic questions and, and categorical uh, types of ways that we have asked people to define themselves that we might see differences among, which could then influence how we're going to run a campaign. So I want to see if there's a difference between, or uh, on, this, on this word of mouth scale, if there is a difference in males versus females in word of mouth. So in order to uh, do this, um, I need to be able to know um, how do I know if this person is a male or a female. Now when I go back to my initial um, analysis, I can see that I did ask gender. Um, gender is column R. And because when I did my download from Qualtrics, I told it um, not to use the names of the labels, I told it to use a numerical representation, I have my gender in here as a one or a two, or it's just blank because they, the person did not want to provide me with his or her gender. So I could do a word of mouth um, pivot table where I say all the ones have this average word of mouth and all the two have this average word of mouth. But when just the, the person walking by my cubicle or reading my report is looking at that table, the table doesn't make a lot of sense because there's like, well, who, who are the people in group one? Right? We have to we have to tell them the people in group one are males, the people in group two are females. So it probably makes more sense for me to set up my pivot table instead of comparing people between group one and two, which is how the data is in my raw data set, and, and compare them as um, word of mouth between males and females. 
which is more descriptive for them. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to create a new variable um, where I'm basically um, identifying the gender um, of each person, pulling from my sheet where all of my raw data is. And so I'm going to do a new column. I'm going to call it gender. And I'm going to use a very complicated if then approach because what I'm going to tell um, each of these different lines here is we're just going to take uh, um, line or row number two as an example. If, um, if for, for this uh, filling up this cell, if over on the original data set there is a one in cell R2, then I want you to put the word male. If there is a 2 on this sheet in R2, I want you to put that this person is a female. And if there is a blank, then I just want you to put a 0 on this to show that the person did not provide any information. Um, so in order to do that, I have a very complicated um, and actually three nested if-then statements. Normally, one if-then statement um, is helpful for, for just um, giving you one little cutoff. If you see this, then put that. But I have three different options here. So I've got three different if-then statements. I've prepared this on the side here, and I want to go ahead and show this to you and, and walk you through it. Um, down here are the explanations about what each of these segments mean. Um, here's, the here's the segment in its entirety. And I see that I'm saying equals if, so that's the command if, on sheet number one in um, square number R2, there's a one, then I want you to put male. Now the second statement, if on sheet number one where all the raw data is in um, cell number R2, there's a two, I want you to put the word female. Then if there is a, um, uh, a blank on the sheet, then I want you to go ahead and just give me a zero on there. And so that's what all of this starts in here. Now notice I have one set of parentheses started right here, and then I have a second set of parentheses started with my second if-then statement that's nested, and then I have a third set of parentheses started and they're all starting so anything that begins must come to an end so you have to end all of your parentheses and so I have all of my parentheses ended out here as well so I started three parentheses I need to end three parentheses um, all right so I'm gonna go in here and it's a little bit complicated to type it let's see if it's gonna let me actually um, paste it because I do have it on my clipboard and we'll see if we'll do paste formula. It did let me paste to the formula and it told me that this person in square number R2 is gonna be a male. Let's go back to R2 and let's look. He's a one and I know that ones are males. Now the next person's a two. Let's see if person in um, R3 on line three is a female according to this. Now to do that, I can just pull this down and apply it and sure enough, there she is. Uh, let's check out person on line or row number 10. Let's make sure that one's blank. Yep, number 10, that's blank, fantastic. So you, whenever you write a complicated statement um, or formula in Excel, you absolutely want to spot check and make sure looking at the original data, what would you expect um, there to have happened in the cell that you wrote the formula and just make sure that it worked. Um, I'm pretty confident in my little spot checks here, um, one for each of my categories. I did a male, I did a female, and I looked for the blanks. I'm pretty confident that they're all good. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this down. I just held on to the, the side um, here and then I pulled down um, to apply all of this and now I have two columns so now I'm ready to create I know that my overall if I come over to my pivot table uh, um, sheet I know that my overall word-of-mouth score is 4.44 or 4.44 now I wonder if there's a difference between males and females um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a pivot table 
So I'm going to go data and pivot table. Um, I'm going to do it on the existing sheet. Um, I'm going to tell it to put it right here. Great. And then I'm going to tell the date range to go over to these two columns. So I highlighted the columns completely. So go over to these two columns and use them. And then create my table. Fantastic. So I have it all started here and now I have to figure out how I want it to look. I know that I have two categories, males and females, and I just want one number on my table for the males and one number on the table for the females. So I think I want gender to be on my rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in gender. Now look, I've got a couple of extra things up in here so I can go and I can filter those out right now uh, to keep my table nice and tidy. If I click on filters, I'm gonna do the filter on the gender. Rather than showing all items of the gender, I'm gonna turn off the zeros. I'm gonna turn off the blank um, cells and then press OK. And now my table's been tightened up, it's a lot tidier. So the next thing is I have to figure out what, am I gonna have any columns? I don't want columns. I'll show you what happens if I did columns. Um, if I did columns, every single um, option of the scores would be on here. And that's not really helpful for me. I don't want every single option. I don't wanna know how many people were fours. I wanna know what the average was. So I'm actually gonna turn that off, I don't want that. Um, and I want to put in here a value, a single value, much like my overall word of mouth score um, here. I want to put the word of mouth score for females only, and then I want to put the word of mouth score for males only. So when I go into values, I'm going to tell the value that I want there is that word of mouth, that WOM index, that WOM score. So I'm going to tell that, okay, now it's setting it up by sum. So I don't want to know the sum of all of the females word of mouth. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Instead, I wanna know the average for all of the females word of mouth. So now I have my table. I have that females have an average word of mouth of 4.46 and males have an average word of mouth of 4.35. And then I see that um, my overall grand total, uh, you know, it's a little bit more precise here. I would say it's still good enough for government work that they match is 4.43 or 4.44. Um, if we are looking at the overall word of mouth for all of our groups. Um, so in this, I can tell you that women are more likely than men or women um, show a greater tendency to talk about this running group than men do. However, considering this is a five point scale and four was um, agreeing with the word of mouth of statements and five was strongly agreeing, I feel pretty confident to say that both men and women do have high word of mouth for this organization. It's just that women want to talk about it even more. They have even greater word of mouth here. Um, and so that is how I create my pivot table using my brand new um, variables, my logically created variables that came from my raw data in my overall survey from Qualtrics. So um, with this, I can start to write a report and give really good understanding of what we're finding. Happy researching.